Hi friends, my name is Risa Nasrin. I have secured All India Rank 9 in ICR GRF Entomology Examination 2022. I completed my undergraduation from College of Agriculture, Vellani, Kerala Agriculture University. First of all, I would like to thank God Almighty for this achievement and my family who gave me constant love and support. And I would also like to thank Agritoppers Academy for this opportunity. Coming to the preparation strategy, it's a well and good if you start your preparation from third year onwards. I started my preparation from third year onwards and uh, coming to the books which I referred for this exam. The basic book for entomology include Insecta 1 and Insecta 2 which is written by TNAU authors. Insecta 1 covers portion like insect morphology, physiology, ecology, taxonomy and it's a very basic book for uh, entomology and uh, you can understand the contents very easily once you read it. Make sure that you should be very thorough with this book and uh, you should revise this book as many times as you can. For this basic portion, I also referred Angarao notes. And uh, coming to the Insecta 2, it covers a portion like uh, beneficial insects that is silkworm, honeybee, lac insect, then all the IPM practices, non-insect pest, etc. For the applied portion, I also referred Applied Entomology by D.S. Reddy. This is a book and it's a very good book and it covers a portion like Pest of All Crops, then all the IPM practices which include uh, cultural, physical, mechanical, biological, chemical control, etc. Uh, Non-insect pest, then beneficial insects, then uh, some journals, scientist name, etc. And uh, I also referred this toxicology as well as beneficial insect portion from Tripoli, that is Elements of Econom Economic Entomology by Vasindaraj and David. Not all the contents in this book is very important, but you can uh, refer this beneficial insect as well as toxicology portion from this book. And uh, once you finish off all these books, you can uh, go for a reading Entomology Treatise and Entomology Refresher. Uh, the content uh, given in this book is very precise and it is in point like manner and uh, you can get some additional points from this book. Then uh, coming to the objective books, the first and foremost objective book is Objective Entomology by T.V. Prasad. It's a very book, good book and here uh, the objective books are covered in topic manner and uh, we can also get previous year JRF papers from this book. Uh, another book which I referred for objective is Equestrian Bangor Entomology by Supriya Biswas. This is also a very nice book and it covers uh, many objective questions. And the next book is Agriculture Entomology, a competitive book by Dharmendra Kumar. And also I referred uh, Objective Entomology by Shravanam Haldar too. So this is the objective book, uh, these are the list of objective books which I referred. Uh, coming to the nematology portion, uh, the very basic book for nematology is an introductory nematology by Wali and Bajaj. Uh, here the book, uh, this cover, here it covers the portions like uh, nematology, morphology, physiology, taxonomy, then classification of nematode, uh, nematode affecting crop plants, etc. Uh, you should be very thorough with this book and uh, you should uh, revise this book constantly. And you have to read this book as many times as you can. And the next book which I referred is Nematology at a Glance by Manjana and a Nematology Refresher by Amit Ahuja. Uh, in this book, uh, the contents are in point wise manner. Uh, then uh, coming to general agriculture portion, uh, which is the most rank determining factor. The first and foremost book is a competitive book on agriculture by Nimrad Sandeep. Here it covers the uh, major topics uh, from agriculture. Uh, you have to be very thorough with this book as uh, major uh, questions in the exam uh, is from this book only. So uh, you have to uh, read this book uh, regularly and you have to be very thorough with this book. And another book uh, which I referred is Arun Kattayam Volume 1 and Volume 2. This is also a very nice book and here the contents are in very elaborate manner and you can get uh, some additional points which is uh, not covered in Nimrad Sunday. And uh, the another book uh, which I referred for general agriculture is Objective Agriculture by S.R. Kandwa. This is actually a question bank uh, which covers uh, major objective agriculture questions uh, from all the subjects. 
and here in from this book uh, you can also get previous year question papers so uh, these are all the books uh, which i referred for this exam there are some advices uh, from my own experience to all grf aspirants uh, first once you start your preparation never take a gap in between because uh, there are chances that you might forget the contents uh, when you are not constant with the subject and even a gap of one week will make you forget all those things that you studied so uh, once you start your preparation be continuous with your studies and never take a gap in between the second thing is that make a timetable of your own and strictly stick on to that timetable uh, in my case what i used to do is that i used to spend morning hours for general agriculture after that i used to study entomology then evening i used to study nematology and in night i used to solve all objective questions so make a tiny block a uh, year on and strictly follow that timetable uh, schedule uh, the studies accordingly and divide the day accordingly then the third thing is that solve out objective questions as many as you can because this will definitely give you result uh, at least solve out 100 questions a day because as you know uh, the question paper pattern has completely changed compared to the previous year question papers now uh, they are mostly focused on this statement type questions and assertion reason type questions so uh, once you solve out uh, these questions give more importance and focus to these kind of questions and another thing is that uh, make a short note of your own because entomology is uh, purely a memory based subject you can't uh, remember all those things that you have read so uh, whenever you come across a new topic or whenever you find a new question try to note it down and uh, revise it uh, regularly and the next thing is uh, give importance to all the three subjects equally that is entomology nematology as well as general agriculture because uh, you can't predict uh, from which portion uh, the question will be more or you can't give weightage to any particular subject. So give importance to all the three subjects equally. Especially in general agriculture, you should give more importance to all those historical dates uh, than agronomy, horticulture, plant breeding, plant physiology, plant pathology, then uh, extension, economic statistics, etc. You can uh, ignore animal husbandry portion. So give importance to all the three subjects. And uh, while you read, uh, read the book thoroughly because each sentence can uh, turn into a new statement type question. So with that point of view, you should read the book. And after finishing off all your studies, uh, you can go for attending online mock test. Uh, there are many platforms uh, from where you can get this online mock test uh, like Agritoppers Academy. And there are other platforms also. And after attending this online mock test, make a self-assessment of your own. Like uh, from which portion you are making more mistake, uh, which is a more weaker portion for you. And try to identify and solve out more questions from uh, those portions. Uh, then be updated uh, with the current affairs too. Uh, there are uh, various online platforms like telegram channels and um, from Google uh, from, uh, where you can get this current affairs. Uh, so be updated with the current affairs too. Uh, coming to this year paper. Uh, this year it was a moderate to tough paper and there were many questions from a vector portion uh, which was quite unexpected. And there were nearly 40 questions from general agriculture and nearly 10 to 15 questions from uh, nematology that too very tricky and confusing and this year the proportion of assertion reason type question and statement type questions were more uh, compared to previous year question papers and about uh, the time management practices there are a total of 120 questions so in the first round uh, go for only those questions uh, which you are 100 percentage sure uh, and uh, very confident about and after attempting those kind of questions we can go for other questions uh, which are 75 percentage sure try to avoid or ignore those questions uh, which you are not at all sure because uh, this will give you negative mark uh, and this negative mark will decide your rank so try to avoid negative marking and try to avoid those questions uh, which uh, you are not at all sure and at last i want to say that um, study hard uh, work hard believe in yourself then success will be yours thank you